Hi there, Doggy Dan here from theonlinedogtrainer.com. This little video really just catches how my dogs calm down five month old Bella, a little barking Boston Terrier. She's trying to get to play with us. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously used to this, aren't they? <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it? Bella here is doing what a lot of dogs do, which is around other dogs, they get too excited, especially when they're at a younger age, sort of five months to maybe two years old or a year and a half old. They just get so excited around other dogs. I thought I'd show you a couple of tips as to how to calm them down. You can see my two girls here. Hmm, obviously, that's the best way for other dogs to behave. This little line here, this is what I call a short line. You take control of your dog. You clip it on and uh, it just allows you to control your dog. You see, even there, I've stepped on the line and stopped the barking. You'll see that happen a number of times. Attention seeking barking around you that you basically stop her from doing it. And if she continues to do it, you give a time out and it's a long, slow progress process, but it's a tricky one to stop. That's it. Good stuff. Jim. I always think it's a bit like a child at a um, playground who's screaming and shouting because they're excited and happy. It's a tricky one to actually stop, you know, stop having fun and yeah. shouting and yeah. being happy, you know. So we'll let a little bit go, maybe. Because the other thing is she'll realise that all this barking doesn't actually doing get in. Anything. They're just looking at you silly, Bella. Well, I don't think I don't think this one's actually looking at her anymore. This one's actually gone, yep, I've seen this before, been there, done that. Another little muppet. Look, now, obviously, I've made it easy for myself. My two dogs are very calm and relaxed, but we can learn from that as well. My two dogs are working with me. They're trying to calm little Bella down. Now, how do they do that? Well, they calmly ignore her. They walk around. They ignore her. They don't bark at her. They don't make a lot of noise. They stay incredibly calm. And that's something we can learn when we're at the dog park. Screaming and shouting at your dog is not going to help. So like I say, it's not easy, it's not a, a magic wand approach to stopping a dog from barking when they're happy and excited, just like children playing on the slides. It's a, it's a tricky one, it's a bit of a balance. But as you can see, by using that little short line and giving her a couple of little timeouts, she's starting to get the message. And as you're going to see, this line, this short line, is what allows us to actually control her and show her how we want her to behave. There she goes, she sits, which is beautiful, she's calming down. We had them here for dinner last week, the two of the girls, and we had to shut her out in the end because she just continually, and not just barking, she was running to them. And, and Yeah. So as you can hear from Bella's owner there, when Bella was out of control and nobody could catch her, she was running around like an idiot and they actually ended up having to shut her outside where she, she barked her head off as well. But my two dogs here have totally calmed her down. But you can see how it was not instant but using that short line, yeah. taking control of her, calming her down, showing her how to behave, and then putting her in time out a couple of times was enough to say to her, hey lovey, these are your options. Calm down and you can stay out here. Gosh. Oh. Gosh. Gosh. Well, there we go. Dogs have an awful lot to show us. One of those things is, I believe, we need to do a lot less talking and a lot less making noise and a lot more um, showing how we want to behave through our actions. Our actions actually speak louder than our words. As you can see, Peanut and Inca here, they haven't said a word the whole time. They've just lay there calmly and quietly and little Bella's starting to reflect their energy. She's starting to copy their behavior. If you take your time and you're calm and patient, then dogs really do follow the leader. For more help and advice, and to find out how to become the pack leader, then check out theonlinedogtrainer.com.